Serbia is a country where, at the moment, there is no war. It's a formal democracy country. And that were uh, the arguments for German Bundestag to put it on the safe countries of origin list. But if we are talking about the consequences of this uh, legislation introduced uh, in Germany in the first place, uh, then uh, we are talking about the impact that it has on Roma communities coming from Serbia and all Balkan countries. And I can most certainly say Serbia and most of the Balkan countries are not safe for Roma. Well, um, it's pretty much safe to say that uh, Roma in Serbia are uh, subject to cumulative discrimination. Uh, there is a uh, most absolutely institutional discrimination present, as well as social exclusion. And um, there is uh, deep uh, racism and uh, anti-Siganism uh, uh, present in Serbian society at, at the moment. Uh, and if you couple that with the overall poverty of the country, such as Serbia, the country that is on the periphery, uh, then you get this one picture where Roma live in segregated areas, uh, in informal settlements with no basic infrastructure for daily life, where, uh, where they cannot uh, get employed, uh, they uh, cannot finish uh, their um, education, they don't, they, uh, they don't uh, participate in uh, um, social or cultural or, or whatever uh, decision-making processes. Of course, on the formal level, and uh, if we consider that uh, Serbia is in the negotiation process uh, for the accession to EU, uh, of course, uh, there, is, uh, uh, there are areas uh, that Serbia had to comply with. Uh, that is the existence of um, anti-discrimination laws, that is uh, the existence, uh, in particular case of Roma, the strategy for integration. But uh, the reality of the situation is, uh, while the, we have this legislative framework, uh, nothing is really being implemented. I mean, the for, only the formal part of if we count uh, the implementation of the law itself. Well, the first and the obvious one is that now they uh, have even smaller chances of their asylum being recognized. Uh, the other thing that is also very important is that th there are a lot of Roma who have been living in Germany now for decades and they don't have uh, recognized uh, refugee status. They only have this tolerated status. And uh, because now their country of origin uh, is uh, being put on the list as a safe country, then now uh, they are in danger of being deported. First of all, before I answer that question, I would kind of like to say where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm uh, from an uh, organization called Roma Forum of Serbia. A Roma Forum of Serbia is an NGO, but an NGO that develops uh, uh, not just an organizational network of Roma organizations, but an educational program that tackles uh, the issues of uh, workers' rights, of um, uh, uh, minority rights, of course, of uh, social rights, of uh, history, of uh, of the left. That is why Roma Forum of Serbia sees itself as a part of a broader coalition. This broader coalition that we are in uh, is actually called the Left Summit of Serbia. On that level, if you ask me uh, what uh, I think uh, will be gained from this uh, tour, is that uh, first and foremost, we will um, try to um, and not to initiate, but to kind of participate in the discussions of migrational policies. We will talk about migrational policies uh, parallelly with the causes of migration. And that is uh, especially me being in the uh, in context of international left means that we will, of course, discuss alternative politics 
on the Europe as a whole, which is very important.